Welcome back to another video on Historical TV. Today's video is about one of the famous characters of new TV series, The Great Seljuk, who was Emmett Sunger in real history. Please subscribe to our channel, Historical TV, and press bell icon for more interesting videos. Emmett Sunger is one of the sons of the Seljuk Sultan Malik Shah. When Malik Shah goes to war with his father, El Barcelon, Ahmed is born in a village in Sinjar where no one is left. Ahmed was born on November 5, 1085. Malik Shah goes to see his wife after the war and sees his son for the first time. But Malik Shah's wife disappears because of the Nazim al Mulk's plan for the future of the state. Nazim al Mulk, Grand Vizier, takes Ahmed with him and names him Sanjar. According to some rumors, when Ahmed was young, he had smallpox so he had scars on his face that made him look frightening. Sanjar means a person who pierces tough armor in Turkish. Years later, Ahmed learns that his father is Sultan Malik Shah, but hides his identity so that no fight for the throne breaks out. Although Ahmed comes to see Sultan Malik Shah many times, he does not reveal his identity to him for a long time. After the death of Sultan Malik Shah, the Seljuk state was divided into three, and Ahmed went to Syria with his stepbrother. Ahmed Sanjar had to fight against his cousin Mahmud I and his stepbrothers Bargyaruk, Malik Shah II, Muhammad I. His half brother realized that Ahmed Sanjar could be the Sultan and sent him to Khorasan as governor to keep him away from the capital. Ahmed accepted this duty to serve the Seljuk Empire and worked as a governor for years. When Ahmed was governor, the Great Seljuk State was divided into three and there was political instability. For this reason, the Karakhanids frequently attacked the lands protected by Ahmed Sanjar. Sanjar defended his country against these attacks and also tried to protect the Muslims living in western India. After a while, Sanjar finds a dagger next to his bed. This dagger is a message sent by Hassan Sabah to Ahmed and on a small piece of paper attached to the dagger, it says that Hassan Sabah wants peace in these lands. This incident affected Ahmed Sanjar a lot. Ahmed Sanjar and Hassan Sabah did not disturb each other after this time. After Sultan Barkiyuruk's death, his son Malik Shah II took over, but Malik Shah was very weak according to his uncle Muhammad and could not defend the throne. Muhammad deposed Malik Shah II the same year and proclaimed himself the great Seljuk Sultan. About 10 years later, Muhammad died and his son Mahmud II took the throne. The enemies of Seljuk thought Mahmud II was inadequate and uninformed, so they started to attack more and more. Ahmed Sanjar realized that Mahmud II could not rule the country well and declared himself the great Seljuk Sultan in Khorasan. Mahmud II saw this act of his uncle as a rebellion and war broke out between them. Ahmed Sanjar almost destroyed Mahmud's entire army. Mahmud II had to flee from the battlefield to save his life. Mahmud II first sent his Grand Vizier to make a peace agreement and then he went to talk to Ahmed Sanjar. Ahmed accepted Mahmud's offer of peace. According to this peace agreement, Mahmud accepted his uncle Sanjar as the great Seljuk Sultan and established an independent kingdom in internal affairs in Iraq. When Ahmed Sanjar ascended the throne, the Khwarezm Shahs began to make plans to become independent. The Khwarezm Shahs, who were affiliated to the great Seljuk state for years, attacked other Turkish tribes and tried to cause unrest and expand their land. This independence movement affected other tribes, and the Turkmens united to become independent. Ahmed Sanjar decided to attack Turkmens who did not pay taxes and caused unrest. While Ahmed Sanjar was on his way to the battlefield, loyal Turkmens in his army betrayed him and changed sides. Meanwhile, the Khwarezm Shahs suddenly attacked, and Ahmed Sanjar lost the war. The Turkmen held Sanjar as a prisoner for about three years. Whilst Emma Sanjar was in captivity, his wife Turkun tried to run government affairs but was not very successful because of the authority problems. Due to the weakening of the administration in Khorasan, the people of Seljuk started to leave the city and refused to pay taxes. Meanwhile, 
People were trying to ascend the throne, but neither the army nor the state administrators accepted anyone as a sultan. In 1156, Turkan Hatun died, and learning about this, Ahmed escaped from captivity. A messenger who went to Khorasan ascended the throne again and began to take advantage on his enemies. Sanjur took the Turkmens, who took him from captive under the sovereignty of the Seljuk state again, and died soon after in 1157. After Sanjur's death, the great Seljuk empire has collapsed because Sanjur did not have any son for the throne. Sanjur's tomb is located in Merv, but it was plundered and destroyed during the Mongol invasion. Thank you for watching! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos.